an actual crab. No way. I've just started this video with a crab. This is actually amazing. Next gen. Okay, so we are back on Black Ops 4. Main thing we're going to talk about in this very video is Fortnite versus Black Ops 4. I know Blackout hasn't shown any gameplay yet, so we can't really say much about it. I'm seeing like a lot of people saying like negative things about Call of Duty Black Ops 4. My own opinion, and I think people should give this a try beta, and they should wait until Black Ops actually comes out, which is the Battle Royale mode that's going to be in Call of Duty. The beta will come out in September, and once again, make sure you keep the application actually downloaded on your PS4, because it'll change to Blackout immediately, so you don't have to re-download it. We're going to go actually try and see if I can hit a trick shot. If I do hit a trick shot by any chance in this beta, then I will go ahead and upload it. But it's not what I'm solely going for in... Oh, okay, I died. And also, well, main thing I want to say is that, see, Fortnite, the game is free. I mean, hence why tons of people are playing it. The thing is, is that Call of Duty has such a big fan base. I, don't know, I mean, they could make it free. Who knows? They could make it just blackout to be free uh, it's very interesting i'm very intrigued to see how call of duty will play their cards correctly well i hope they play their cards correctly with blackout if they don't black ops 4 will turn out to be very bad this is the biggest thing that people are dependent on i'm dependent on blackout to be good otherwise i don't think black ops 4 will actually survive and i think that the producers developers and everyone behind the franchise know that they have to hop into the okay i'm out of ammo here they have to hop in. Well, they don't have to. It's all about money and business. They want to actually make continuously uh, make money. Then they're going to have to hop into the Battle Royale genre. It's the biggest genre, I'd say, that's growing rapidly in 2018. And, I mean, the figures just do it themselves in the views on YouTube. Fortnite has just shown it. The advantage to Fortnite is that it's free. I mean, I haven't spent, like, one... I don't think... I don't know how much I've spent probably on Fortnite. But it's not as much as, you know, you would buy uh, Call of Duty for. And I think... And there's all this, like, negative media, like... In about Fortnite as well, and like Call of Duty and stuff, but like Fortnite is free. So I don't know why parents are like, oh yeah, this is so bad for. There's Mr. Krabs again. Look at this, mate. Oh wow. Wait, is it? there's his first. Let me see his first. Look how beautiful that crab. Oh, he's actually stopped. And he's off again. I think, I mean, regardless, I think Blackout will be good. It's the biggest map that they even quoted. They said it's going to be the biggest map in Call of Duty history. So, and it's going to like involve all the like maps that have been before in Call of Duty, but like Newtown is like apparently right in the middle of the map as well. Right now, I'm not gonna say, oh yeah, Call of Duty will absolutely destroy Fortnite because Fortnite has absolutely, uh, and this is coming from somebody that's played the game literally, well, Fortnite the game, from the day it literally came out. The day it came out or the next day it came out, I'm pretty sure. If you wanna actually, for reference, for you guys to know how much I've played Fortnite, go back on my channel and you'll see when I actually uploaded Fortnite content because I'm not gonna just say, you know, oh yeah, I'm an OG. Fortnite uh, and lie to you people and I mean I am of course an OG Call of Duty. I guess you could say I played since uh, World, uh, World at War. Yeah that's my first Call of Duty that I played. World at War. So uh, back on the PS2 days is when I actually started playing Call of Duty. So I pretty much know how the franchise has kind of like developed since then and it has developed quite a lot. Don't oh wow that kid destroyed me. Wanted to do a quick video saying Fortnite you know versus Call of Duty which one will kind of win? I can't say right now, but I can definitely say that people uh, will be buying Call of Duty for Blackout. Uh, just like how people bought, well, and I myself, bought Infinite Warfare and, you know, Modern Warfare Remastered solely because they wanted Infinite, well, Modern Warfare Remastered and they didn't care about Infinite Warfare. For those that don't know, uh, the basically main game that came out was Infinite Warfare. This kid, is, oh no, don't. Okay, I've been zapped. What is this? I don't know what's going on. But for those that don't know, when Infinite Warfare came out, most people were neg well, negative about it, as, you know, per usual in the 2018 now. You paid like an extra £15, which is like 20 approximate dollars. Then you actually get Modern Warfare Remastered. And everybody, if you're an OG player, will know Modern Warfare Remastered is a pretty cool game. It's boots to the ground. So they bought into it and actually the sales for Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered were phenomenal. And I mean, there's no surprise because of that. Before I finish this video off, what I want to say is that give Black Ops 4 a chance because it has an opportunity to actually do phenomenally well. Uh, with Blackout, hopefully that will lead to that many sales as like, as I mentioned with like the Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered thing. So don't give like negative things around because I think there's an opportunity. This is gonna be short cut com. Uh, just me playing Black Ops 4. I'm actually going to go grinding to max level. As you can see, I'm literally uh, level 14, which isn't um, the highest level, really. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching, and make sure you subscribe for more BO4 content. Check out my social media above. I give out some beta codes as well, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.